Welcome back to Cabin View Ventures. My name is Nick and thanks for joining me this morning. So we are at Ratchet Rake. I will put a link or a little description of, of the company up here so you guys can see where I'm at. Um, it's in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I found this uh, two days ago when I was looking for an attachment for the Kubota BX. So just kind of happened that these guys were local. They have a product that I want to try out. So we're here this morning, we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna head out to my mom's and install this on the Kubota and I will explain exactly what it is. So we will check back soon. All right guys, so we are driving out to my mom's house right now and I really just wanted to share this view with you because I absolutely love it up here. So we're on top of a hill driving down. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but you just overlook this huge valley. You can see the little mountain ridge in the background there, but it is farmland for as far as the eye can see. It's a nice peaceful road. There's never much traffic on it. So you can just kind of take your time driving through here and enjoying the view. And you don't see a whole lot of this anymore. There are not many places left where you can just look out and see farmland for miles and miles and miles. So just enjoy this view for a minute. All right, I'm back from Ratchet Rake. Really great experience. So let me tell you why I, I was looking for this product. Last week, we got a little snowstorm, four or five inches of snow, not much, but enough that we needed to plow. And I'm out of my mom's house right now. We just got this driveway paved last fall. So it's nice, freshly paved driveway. Um, we got the, the area in front of the garage uh, done for the first time, and we got the driveway itself resurfaced. So all I have to plow with out here is the Kubota BX with a 48 inch bucket on it. Now I've done a lot of plowing at my house with the Kubota L3901 and my Can-Am Defender. I have a stone driveway, so it's much different than plowing a paved driveway. You know, a paved driveway you need to be a little more cautious with so you don't tear it up, put big ruts in it. You know, you don't want to destroy what you spent a lot of money on. But the bucket did scrape up the surface of the driveway a little bit. Now we're gonna get this driveway resealed or sealed for the first time in the spring or summer. It needs it anyway, and it's gonna cover up all the plow marks that, that I put in the driveway. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see, you know, no damage, but it just kind of scrapes the surface a little bit. doesn't look the best, especially on a freshly paved driveway. So I wanted to find a product that was going to prevent that from happening. And since we're going to get this resealed in the summertime, you know, I want to get this figured out now so I don't do any damage to it next year. So what I did was I searched for edge tamers. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them, especially if you have a tractor. You know, edge tamers are like little skid shoes that bolt onto your bucket and it just kind of keeps it from digging into a surface, like a paved driveway. Um, you probably still don't want to use it on concrete. You have to be really careful with concrete. Um, but as I was searching for, for these edge tamers, I came across Ratchet Rake. Ratchet Rake is a company that has two main products. They have the Ratchet Rake, which is a, a like a rake attachment for the front. And I'll, I'll probably go into a little more detail on that later on because that is actually a really cool product. And they have this thing called the Snow Edge. So let me show you the Snow Edge. So the snow edge bolts right on to the bucket of your compact tractor, subcompact or compact tractor. They make it in three different sizes. This is a 48 inch, they have a 54 and they have a 60. The build quality on this is really nice. 
half inch thick steel, two and a half inch replaceable blade. The welds are really nice. So you have a continuous weld all the way around these brackets. So they're gonna be very strong and everything is machined really nice. So these clamps just spin smooth as butter. Now this edge, I think they have this edge rated to last about 32 hours. So that is gonna give you a lot of plowing time. I mean, for me, I can plow this driveway let me give you a shot of the driveway here. So it's a three car garage. <clears throat> and then you can see the driveway just comes up to the house here. I can plow this driveway in like 20, 30 minutes. You know, we only get maybe two to four plowable snows a year. So, I mean, this thing's gonna last me 10 plus years easily. But like I said, when you do need to replace it, you just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight, eight nuts you take off and you can replace that edge. So another reason I went with this is because they're a local company. They are in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, which is very close to my house. I love supporting local companies. And I just, I like the look of this. It's a good, it looks like a good quality uh, snow edge. I like that as opposed to the tamers that are just gonna raise the lip of the bucket off of the ground, so you're not gonna get a nice clean plow. This is just gonna scrape right along. And this is designed to protect your paved driveway, your concrete, your seal coats. So exactly what I was looking for to plow this driveway. Another thing I like to do before I buy a product is look where the company is from. So, you know, once I found that they were from Carlisle, uh, I, you know, I knew right then and there I was gonna go check these guys out. Now, what I didn't see on their website is a storefront. They just have their products, their pricing, and their shipping. So I called them, got Barbara on the phone. This is Barbara's company. She was super nice. Uh, told me I could definitely come down and check out the products they have and do a local pickup. So I highly recommend, if you guys are in the market for something similar to this, call Barbara, talk to her. Um, like I said, she's super nice, very knowledgeable, and she will answer any questions that you have about this product, and then they can ship it anywhere in the country to you. Now, with their shipping, um, I think this one, the 48 and the 54, so this is $359.99, so $360. Uh, you're gonna have tax, and then you've got shipping, which is $60. $60 shipping for this heavy product is really good. She said they have not raised shipping prices in a while, and they're actually losing a little bit of money when they do ship these out. So the 48 and the 54 were $60 to ship. The 60 inch was $70. So let's get this thing on the tractor. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the ratchet rake that they have. Right, I think I have this up off the ground high enough. Gonna eye that up. That looks pretty good. Now, you know what? I need to come on a little bit more. think all the way down looks good
Let's get all of them so they're touching the bucket. We're gonna make these nice and tight. It's a tractor bucket. So yeah, these are gonna scratch the paint a little bit, but it's a tractor bucket. You know, this thing's meant to work. So that was really easy to put on. That thing is nice and secure. See if I can show you guys. So you can see how far under the bucket it supports itself. Really strong clamps up top. I mean, this thing is rock solid. It is not gonna go anywhere while you're plowing. I'm kind of bummed I can't demonstrate this today, but it's like 40 degrees outside. We just got a ton of rain. So all that snow we got last week is melted and gone. Now it's supposed to get cold I think starting this weekend and there's a chance of snow next week so i'm hoping that we get enough snow next week i can come out here and plow and do a good demonstration for you guys with this snow edge all right so another big reason i wanted to go with some kind of edge protector for this bucket is i like plowing with a bucket you know, with the bucket, you have the hydraulic pressure that you can push down with and get a nice, good, clean plow. So really just finding something to protect that edge to save your driveway is key. Now, another nice thing with the bucket, it works a lot like a snow pusher. You know, if you know what a snow pusher is, they look like a big box. They're much wider than a bucket, but they collect the snow instead of pushing it off to the sides like a snow plow does. So, you know, a, a bucket acts a lot like a push box or a snow pusher where it can collect the snow, give you a nice clean plow, and then you can just scoop the snow up into a pile if you want to keep it in one area. As opposed to a blade on a three-point hitch that just kind of rides along. So if you have any packed down snow, it can easily just push that up um same thing with you know if you have like a lighter plow on your side by side or your four wheeler you know those don't always plow the best it's always better to plow in float mode but if you need that pressure to scrape you have it there to do it another nice thing with the with a comp even a subcompact tractor like the bx2680 is the weight of the machine you know this machine weighs 1500 pounds you put a loader assembly and a bucket on it and a little bit of weight on the back, you know, you're at 2,500 pounds pretty quick. So you have a good weight now to plow with. So these can be very effective machines at plowing your driveway. The snow edges that they sell, the 48, the 54, and the 60 inch are gonna cover the majority of your subcompact and compact tractors that are on the market. You know, Kubota, for example, you've got the BX all the way up to the LX that run a 48 to 60 inch bucket. So, you know, that's a 25 horsepower machine up to a 40 horsepower machine. These are rated up to a 60 horsepower machine. So, like I said before, these things are built extremely well and meant to handle 
a lot more weight than this BX um, is going to be able to put on it. So this should hold up very well. All right, guys, another thing I want to talk to you about with Ratchet Rake, the other product, the other main product they sell is the Ratchet Rake. So I'm going to put a picture up right now and kind of talk through it a little bit. Um, they had a good setup in their showroom where they had a couple ratchet rakes on buckets. You know, they had one on a 48 inch bucket like this Kubota BX and they had one on a 72 inch bucket for a skid steer. And that was a heavy duty uh, forestry rake is what they call that one. So uh, I'll put that picture up and I'll kind of talk through a little bit. Um, Barbara actually gave me a really good walkthrough and some things that you could possibly use that ratchet rake for. So, you know, one of the, a couple of the things that, that we talked about with the ratchet rake, again, just being able to have that downforce on the bucket, it works a lot more effectively than like a rake you would put on the three point hitch on the back of your tractor. So you could use it similarly for a lot of the raking needs that you have on your property whether it's your stone driveway, or maybe you're doing some clearing, some brush clearing in the woods, you know, it, it'll be very effective at that. Some of the examples that she gave me um, were food plots. A lot of customers buy this ratchet rake to prep their food plots or their vegetable gardens. Um, she has uh, landscapers that will buy this for doing lawn prep so when they're putting in a new lawn before you seed you know you can rake that dirt out really nice and do you know do your lawn prep with it um, another good example or actually one i thought of with my stone driveway and i've had this happen in years past where in the winter time i don't get a lot of sun on my driveway so if we get an ice storm or snow that just packs down and and doesn't melt off it'll get really icy and really slick and i've tried to break it up with the box blade on my tractor you know put the teeth down and try to scrape through it but it's hard when you don't have that down pressure on the box blade to break through that ice so the teeth on that ratchet rake would be a great way to break up the ice on your stone driveway uh, Barbara said she has some clients, I, I don't remember if it was Michigan or Minnesota, but she had a guy recently that bought the ratchet rake. Um, he has a horse farm and they had so much ice on the ground, they were afraid to bring the horses out because the horses will easily slip and can really hurt themselves on, on ice. So they used the ratchet rake to break up the ice um, you know, on their farm so they could safely get their horses out uh, just to get them, you know, some exercise or, or get them out to move around a little bit. Whatever you do with horses, I don't know. I'm not a horse farmer, but it sounded like a good idea. So, you know, those are just a couple examples. But if you go onto their website, you know, there's a really nice description of everything. All the pricing is on there. And like I said before, if you have any questions, um, just call and talk to Barbara she is fantastic and will help you out with you know whatever you need help with uh with any other products so all right guys that was kind of a short one for today but i just wanted to you know show you this product uh hopefully i'm gonna get to try it out here soon so i can show you guys how it works and i i like i said before you know i really appreciate you guys being here subscribing supporting the channel we've got a lot more good content coming up so if you haven't subscribed please do so we love your questions and comments and i look forward to seeing you on the next one